Right, acute pancreatitis. The pancreas becomes inflamed over a short period of time. Acute pancreatitis. So uh, the pain is abdominal pain that is radiating to the back. Uh, again, uh, it's not always, but uh, mainly you will get the most common scenarios, right? So abdominal pain, which is going to the back, you have to think about acute pancreatitis, right? Acute pancreatitis can be very severe as well. You need to be very careful because it can be a young patient as well and it can be life-threatening if not treated properly, okay? So you will ask for all the abdominal symptoms like nausea, vomiting, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, blood in the stool, fever, yellow discoloration, uh, any discoloration of the uh, skin and uh, uh, dark urine, or pale stool, all those questions you need to ask. Right, so because of acute pancreatitis, you know, patient can have severe nausea, vomiting, and they might be dehydrated, they might be in shock. That is very, very important you need to ask. Obstructive jaundice you need to ask. See, why a patient get pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis? There are two main reasons for it. Number one is gallstone. Number two is alcohol. Number one is gallstone and alcohol. So that is why, like, because if it is gallstone, it could be obstructive jaundice as well. And then patient will have change in the urine, like dark urine or pale stool as well. And bowel habits change. That is something that you need to cover here. Right. So these patients, you know, they may have yellow discoloration in the in the, in the the tummy as well. So that is actually, you can mention in the, uh, maybe examination. So gray Turner sign, Cullen sign. That is a blue discoloration around the umbilicus or in the flanks. That is what you say is gray Turner, umbilicus, Cullen in the flanks. So the, this is very, very important. So, so you can ask the question as well in the history or you can mention it in the examination when you say I would like to do uh, abdominal examination and the, for the flanks, I would like to do the back examination as well. This is how you can cover these things. All right. So risk factor, obviously smoking, alcohol, uh, smoking, uh, diet, all these things. Do not miss these two things, as I said, alcohol and the gallstone, right? History of gallstone, maybe obesity, because, because of obesity, cholesterol, stone. So this is how you have to relate things as well. Okay. Now examination, general physical examination. I would like to check vitals as well. I would like to do your abdominal examination. I would like to do your back examination. Why back examination? So that I can find out the the signs, greater or occult signs. Okay, full blood count, UNEs. Uh, I can do the, uh, the 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 test for pancreas, amylase and lipase. Right, X-ray, extra chest and abdomen, ultrasound scan. Sometimes we go for CT scan as well. What is the treatment? Treatment is painkiller. Treatment is fluids, fluids, fluids. This is very, 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 very important. Right, you know these patients. Uh, many times you will see. Uh, uh, we may have to keep them in ICU as well. It's not an easy thing. Don't take it lightly, lightly whenever you have got a case of pancreatitis. These patients might be needing too much of fluids as well, right? And uh, uh, if it is with infection, uh, usually uh, antibiotics are not given, but uh, if it is with infection, because acute pancreatitis can be with some other infection as well. For example, a uh, patient has got acute cholecystitis because of stone. Stone got accumulated in the bile duct and patient can have pancreatitis as well. So, only pancreatitis, you may not be giving antibiotics, but if it is associated with other infections, you may have to go for it as well. All right. Uh, avoid solid food, maybe for some time, uh, nil per oral, and then you start uh, the patient feeding, but a uh, little amount of food only. And please treat the underlying cause, right? So that is really important. So again, I'm telling about the two things only, alcohol and gallstone. Do work on it, okay? And the follow-up and warning sign. Follow-up and warning sign. You have to mention, right? So don't miss the symptomatic treatment fluids and don't miss the safety netting. For IPS, uh, uh, the same thing you need to work on. You have to be very careful with your body language, your active listening, and always in the end, you know, give leaflets so patient can read about it. And if they have got any more concerns, they can definitely, definitely discuss with us. Right, so this is what you have got in acute pancreatitis. All right. Mm -hmm.